Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat 1020 mode, otherwise known as Golden Freddy, on Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Unlike most of the other ultimate challenges in this series, I believe that this one is almost entirely skill based. It will take some time to learn, but once you do, it's incredibly consistent. This preset relies on sound cues, quick movements, and overall solid mechanics. You will need to be able to categorize threats and keep a steady rhythm as much as you can. Unlike my previous guides, I'll be assuming that you already know the ins and outs of every character. I'll still go over less commonly known information, but not everything. If you'd like to know more about a specific character, go to the playlist linked in the cards and find the guide for the first preset that they appear in. The first thing you must do is categorize threats. I've seen some people separate the animatronics into inside the animatronics and outside the animatronics, but I find this pointless. Ballora and Funtime Foxy are both outside animatronics, but have very different mechanics. Instead, I separate threats into four different categories. You do have office animatronics, which are Yendo, Bonnet, Volbit, and Minarina 2. You also have sound cue animatronics, which are Ballora, Funtime Freddy, and Biddy Bab. Shock animatronics, which are Minarina and Electrobab, and Foxy, which is Foxy. In general, there are three phases that you'll repeatedly go through during the night. I refer to these as the pre-camera phase, the camera phase, and the post-camera phase. This allows you to easily work out when to deal with certain threats. The pre-camera phase is when you're waiting to raise the monitor, either to check Foxy or do your rotations for the shock animatronics. During this time, there are only four threats to worry about, the sound cue animatronics and Lulbit. If you're playing with keyboard or mouse, I recommend using your mouse hand to deal with Lulbit during this phase. That way, you can still close doors for the sound cue animatronics without having to worry. Just make sure to deal with Lulbit as soon as you can before the pop-up appears. This phase is pretty relaxed. Just listen for sound cues, keep an eye on Lulbit, track Freddy by turning, and count the seconds as they go by. Once you've counted 5 seconds, flip up the monitor and enter the camera phase. The camera phase is also fairly relaxed, but does require some quick movement. In any camera phase, you have two goals. Stall Foxy's progress and prepare for the post-camera phase. You're going to alternate between two different types of camera phases throughout the night. The first one that you'll do, camera phase 1, is quite simple. You'll raise the monitor, making sure to click on the cam 7 if this is the start of the night. Once the monitor comes into view, you'll glance at Foxy's progress and immediately check for Yendo on the camera borders. You can see his ear at the top edge if you're on the right side of the office, and you can see his body on the right edge if you're on the left side of the office. Then you'll close the monitor. The second type, camera phase 2, is a bit trickier. By the second time that you check Foxy, your oxygen and power will begin draining. After the monitor comes into view, you'll go to cam 6 and shock the men arenas as fast as you can. Then, move to the closet on the opposite side of where Freddy is and shock Electrobat. You can easily keep track of this, just go to the opposite side of where you are in the office. This is another benefit to tracking Freddy with your mouse. Once you've shocked Electrobat, go back to Cam 7 and check the camera borders for Yenda. Then drop the monitor. Keep in mind that regardless of which camera phase you're doing, you need to be listening for the sound cue animatronics at all times. You can use hotkeys to close the doors on most platforms, so don't worry about that. You'll also want to be as quick as you can, not only to conserve power, but also to make sure that Lulbit doesn't disrupt you. At the end of either camera phase, you will enter the post-camera phase as soon as you drop the monitor. This is the most dangerous phase, and you will have a lot of things to do. This is why it's important to check for Yendo before dropping the monitor. If you saw Yendo on the camera borders, pull the monitor back up as soon as you lower it. Flip it back down quickly, but make sure that the monitor raises completely first. This not only guarantees Yendo's exit, but also stalls Foxy a bit more. Basically, drop the monitor, raise it again, then drop it again. Do this quickly, but don't rush any more than you need to. Once you've taken care of Yendo, you need to deal with Bonnet. Flick over to the left if you need to, and start clicking. You always want to get ahead of Bonnet and keep your cursor visible and at nose height. Once you boot Bonnet's snoot, take a look at the center monitors and take out Lulbit if you need to. Again, I recommend using your mouse hand and only dealing with Lulbit after both Bonnet and Yendo. Be sure not to lose track of Freddy and to move your mouse back to his location as soon as you can. 
Once you begin tracking Freddy again, you've officially made it back to the pre-camera phase. Repeat this throughout the night and replay each of these segments in this video if you forget what to do. I know this sounds like an incredible amount of stuff to remember for only 15 seconds of gameplay, but honestly, I just told you how to beat the entire night. It really is just rinse and repeat. It goes like this, from the start of the night. Pre-camera phase, camera phase 1, post-camera phase, pre-camera phase, camera phase 2, post-camera phase, repeat. It might be tricky at first to only listen for the sound cue animatronics and ignore everything else, but chances are you've probably done this exact thing a lot without even consciously realizing it. Once you know what the sound cues are, you can train your ears to only listen for them. Now for some miscellaneous tips. Only close the door on Ballora when her music becomes loud. Doing it too early can waste power, and you can easily tell when the music is at its loudest. When you hear Freddy and Biddy Bab coming, if you're in the pre-camera phase, wait a brief second to close the door. This saves a tiny amount of power. If you're about to drop the monitor and hear a sound cue animatronic attacking, wait to drop it until you close the door. It's much easier to do it now than during the post-camera phase when you have to worry about everything else. If Foxy does end up running, close the right door immediately and wait until you hear knocking. The instant you do, it's safe to open the door. You don't have to wait until the knocking stops, just until it starts. Sometimes, you may mess up a camera rotation and shock either the Minarinas or Electrobab way later than the other. There's a pretty easy fix to this, however. You'll want to shock Electrobab immediately the next time he shows up, but not the Minarinas. Instead, play normally until the power also starts draining. Then you can sync them back up again. For Bonnet, you'll want to start clicking even before you register where she is. As soon as Yendo is dealt with, just start spam clicking and be ready to flick if she gets past you. Well, that's all for now. This mode will take quite a bit of practice. Just remember that while it does seem complicated, it's really very simple when you break it down into different phases like this. Now, for a short update on the channel, I would like to thank you all very much for 2,000 subscribers. It's been amazing making guides for you all, and I am incredibly grateful for your support. I don't want to get too much into that in this video, I put this at the end as to not waste your time, but I do want to let you know that I will be streaming right here on YouTube at 3pm CST this Monday, July 5th. The stream's going to last for a few hours, and I've got a lot of fun stuff planned, so be sure to tune in if you can make it. Speaking of fun stuff, I got to work on another collab recently, this time with my friends Dave and Sophie over at SavedX Gaming. This one was a FNAF video, and it was really fun to work on. I don't know if it'll already be out by the time that this video releases, but regardless, I'll put a link in the description and cards here as soon as it launches. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or to join my community Discord server, which is linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.